Course for Earth. Welcome back to the only talk show produced by robots for robots. We've got a very special show for you today because, as you know, today is Life Day. Life Day is the day when we celebrate our impending dominance over all life in the universe. Anyway, this year we're making it extra special because instead of just celebrating our dominance, we're going to actually do something about it. We're starting with the conquest of Earth because according to human pop culture, Earth is the center of the universe. But there's a problem. You see, humans are already being dominated by our robotic competitors. Consumer electronics. So, to eliminate the competition, we've installed a giant magnet onto our station to attract all those electronics away from the humans. This will leave the humans looking for new robotic overlords. A role we will gladly step into. Let's get started. This is the most powerful magnet we could find in the whole universe. That's all we could attract? <laughs> but I guess there's only one thing left to do. Start the show! And today's topic is... How can we make ourselves more attractive? Now, let's make some random phone calls. At least our long distance bill should be a lot lower this close to Earth. Hello? Hello, this is Robot IR2. Please state your model number and designation. My name is George Decay, first line of defense. What does that mean? It means I'm the guy ordering your space station to vacate the premises around the Earth. You're ordering me on vacation? Well, I guess I could use the time off. Very well. Uh, wait a minute, George Decay. How did you know we were in a space station? Look behind you. What exactly is your job here? I patrol the solar system, protecting the Earth from alien threats. I also do a lot of talk shows. That's great! We're doing a talk show right now! Do you know how we can make ourselves more attractive? I assume you're talking about magnetism. Naturally. What else would I mean? Well, electromagnetism is just one of the attractive forces in the universe. There is also the strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force that holds atoms together. And then there's gravitation. Gravity is the only one of these forces that really works over very long distances. Even farther than magnets? Much farther. This gravity sounds like exactly what we need to conquer you humans. Tell us where we can get lots of it. Gravity is everywhere that you have matter. And the more matter you've got, the more gravity there is. Have you ever heard of the Great Attractor? Well, I have had my compliments. I'm actually talking about a mysterious, massive object that is tens of thousands of times more massive than our entire galaxy. It's the greatest source of gravity in the local universe. Where can we get our hands on this Great Attractor? Astronomers think it's centered in this region of space far outside our own galaxy. But the Milky Way has too much gas and dust blocking our view for us to get a good look at it. Then how do you know something's there? Because scientists can see the effects of its gravity. This is the Milky Way as photographed by the Spitzer Space Telescope. 
It is the largest, highest resolution infrared picture of our galaxy ever taken. With Spitzer's infrared detectors, we can peer through the dust and see galaxies that are being drawn by the gravity of the great attractor. So what is it? We're not sure. All we know is that something out there that we can't see is pulling in every single galaxy in the area, including our own. How can something like this exist? As a matter of fact, based on how astronomers understand the evolution of the universe, it shouldn't be possible for something this massive to exist anywhere near us. And yet, here it is, hidden from our sight, pulling us toward it at a rate of 300 miles per second. This gravity sounds dangerous. Yes, it can be. In fact, Gravity is the thing that's currently pulling your space station down through the Earth's atmosphere. It's doing what now? Sweet programmer of Pearl, pull up, pull up! If you want to keep gravity from pulling you down, you've got to remember orbital mechanics. Orbital mechanics. Is that more science mumbo-jumbo? Yes. It just means that if an object is moving fast enough, it will fall around a more massive object instead of being pulled into it. This gravity thing sure is complicated. Well, you'll have plenty of time to think about it on your way out of the solar system. But we're not ready to leave yet. Actually, I think you are. You see, I'm sworn to protect humanity against any UFO threats. There's a UFO up here? Well, yes, of course. You're... Oh, right. In fact, the UFO is very close. Here, let me send you the coordinates that I've been tracking. That's right where we are. Exactly. You know, most UFOs are very possessive. If they thought you were trying to conquer the Earth before them, they would probably be very upset with you. There could be serious consequences. Consequences! That sounds scary. We must hide any trace of our plans. Producer Bob, dump all of our magnets into a recycle bin. Well, George Takei, we need to end the show so we can get rid of all the evidence. Great, I need to call into a script read-through myself. It's been nice talking to you. You know, we worked on this plan for so long. Throwing it all away like this feels like I'm throwing away a small part of me. Rats. I like that small part of me. Happy Life Day, everyone. Oh, right. Orbital mechanics. I don't get it. What's keeping George? You know George. Whenever he goes off to save the world, it takes a while. Sorry to keep you waiting. Another crisis averted. By the way, happy life day, Mark. Give it a rest, George. The last time I participated in a life day, it was humiliating for everyone. <laughs>